Hey there, my name is Ashley and I am going to be showing you a tutorial of how I make the We The People, we the People Bullet Tumbler. Um, I hope you enjoy and thank you again so much for watching. Um, so the tumblers that I like to use for these are the Hog brand. <clears throat> these are amazing. They are built really well. This is the 32 ounce bullet from Hog. I love these. These have two different lids, the outer lid and then this amazing lid right here. It's basically a thermos and that's why I love these. So these are what I use. I do not sand these. Um, this is just some printable vinyl. I am gonna go ahead and print my decal and I will wrap my tumbler. So here I just wrapped up the tumbler with a decal. It does not have to be perfect, simply because a lot of the imperfections are going to be covered. See, this doesn't matter. You can take an X-Acto knife and trim it up. Totally okay. So here I am trimming the edges with an X-Acto knife. Um, the bottom and top will not matter because it's going to be covered up with paint. And I will show you that here in just a little bit. Okay, so here I am. I'm gonna go ahead and put a layer of epoxy over it. So this is a trust the process sort of tumbler. So I use Artistry Epoxy's Fast Set. I love it, it is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and mix up some epoxy <clears throat> and I am going to coat this whole thing in one layer of epoxy. With Artistry Epoxy, I love it because it is such a fast curing, their fast set, it's such a fast curing epoxy and it cures to the touch within two hours. Um, don't worry about these bubbles. These come out so quickly. They're already starting to come out as I apply it to the tumbler. And after I finish applying it, I will use a heat gun to torch the rest of them out and it will literally be cured within two hours so that I can start my next step. So here I am finishing it up, trying to get that layer on there. I want it smooth and pretty and that's what I'm going to do. So you will be able to see me finish this and you'll see me pop those heat bubbles with some heat torch. Okay, so now that the epoxy layer is cured, I went ahead and painted the bottom and added another layer because I'm gonna do some decals down there as well because the customer requested a bottom decal. So here I am doing my transfer paper on the decal and pulling it off and I'm getting ready to apply it. This one is being a little tricky. So if you're a crafter like me and you've gone through different types of transfer paper, you know how it is. So here I am applying it. I just kind of line it up on that seam right there where we remember when we added the main wrap and there was a seam, I just put it over that. And it kind of helps cover that seam and just, you know, brings everything together. So here is the 1776 decal for the bottom. I'm just gonna go in there and stick it to the bottom. And now that that is done, I'm gonna take off the transfer tape. And for the top and the bottom where I blend it, I take this paintbrush right here, some, some of this paint and some Color Flex paint, and I mix them because I like, I don't know why, I just love the effect I get when I mix them together. So I mix them together and I paint the top 
And then after I paint the top really good, as you can see here, and don't worry about the rim acetone, I'll get that off. I probably should have taped it off, but you know, I was in a hurry, so. <laughs> um, then I just kind of take my brush and I stroke downwards. And as I stroke downwards, I try to make it look, I guess, distressed in a way, and I just kind of blend so that you cannot see where the wrap ends meet, if you know what I mean. Um, and I just keep going all the way around. And it ends up looking really, really cool. And then I add a few brush strokes here and there in the middle of the image as well to kind of make it rustic. And then I go to the bottom and I start doing the exact same thing that I did at the top. I just go all the way around first at the bottom where the gold is showing. And then after I do that, I start with my brush strokes and I blend it upwards into the image. And that is how I do it. And once this dries, it will be ready for epoxy. And here is the final product. It turned out absolutely beautiful and stunning, and I'm so excited to make so many more of these. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.